Of all the methods available for sterilization, moist heat in the form of saturated steam under pressure is the most widely used and the most dependable. It is easy to understand, why is it commonly used? Steam sterilization is not toxic and it is relatively inexpensive as compared to other means like plasma sterilizer. It has the additional advantage of rapidly killing all microbes including bacterial spores which are resistant to other agents. Finally it can penetrate fabrics which offers advantages later is commonly used to wrap the instrument boxes before sterilization. Like all sterilization processes, steam sterilization has some downsides and thus is not fit for use in certain conditions. It is due to its deleterious effects on some materials. It is not used for sterilization of dental handpieces as it causes corrosion and combustion of lubricants associated with dental handpieces. It is not suitable for sterilization of laryngoscope either as it can damage the optical system. In case of plaster cast, it causes the increased hardening time of plaster cast. The basic principle of steam sterilization, as accomplished in an autoclave, is to expose each item to direct steam contact at the required temperature and pressure for the specified time. Thus, there are four parameters of steam sterilization. Steam. Pressure. Temperature. And time. The ideal steam for sterilization is dry saturated steam and untrained water with dryness fraction of more than 97%. Pressure serves as a means to obtain the high temperatures necessary to quickly kill microorganisms. Specific temperatures must be obtained to ensure microbicidal activity. The two common steam sterilizing temperatures are 121 degrees Celsius and 132 degrees Celsius. These temperatures must be maintained for a minimal time to kill microorganisms. Recognized minimum exposure periods for sterilization of wrapped healthcare supplies are 30 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius in a gravity displacement sterilizer or 4 minutes at 132 degrees Celsius in a pre-vacuum sterilizer. At constant temperatures, sterilization times vary depending on the type of item and whether the item is wrapped or unwrapped, and of course the sterilizer type. The type of material types which may need to be sterilized are Metal Rubber Plastic and items with lumens. Now the question is, how does an autoclave kill the microbes? The answer is very simple. Moist heat destroys microorganisms by the irreversible coagulation and denaturation of enzymes and structural proteins. In support of this fact, it has been found that the presence of moisture significantly affects the coagulation temperature of proteins and the temperature at which microorganisms are destroyed. Finally, where do we use it? Steam sterilization should be used whenever possible on all critical and semi-critical items that are heat and moisture resistant for example steam sterilizable respiratory therapy and anesthesia equipment, even when not essential to prevent pathogen transmission. Steam sterilizers also are used in healthcare facilities to decontaminate microbiological waste and sharps containers but additional exposure time is required in the gravity displacement sterilizer for these items. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to share your views on this issue, in the comment section. Check the description for similar videos and product links.